Alright, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can take footage from looking like this to looking like this in the matter of just a minute using only the curves tool. Alright, let's get into it. So, in this tutorial we're going to use solely the curves tool and this should work the same no matter if you're using Adobe Premiere like I will be today if you're using Final Cut Pro if you're using DaVinci Resolve curve tools work the same uh, no matter what software you're using so let's get into it um, now as you can see here on my timeline I have three clips uh, one which is just sort of a straight out of camera no picture profile look. This is the same type of look that you'd get, um, uh, as I said, coming straight out of camera or coming straight out of an iPhone or an Android or anything like that. Now, the second clip I have here is a log clip. So this is shot in S-Log2, exposed to the right using my Sony a7 III. And lastly, we have an HLG clip. So. This, this is sort of to prove that you can you can use this technique no matter what kind of footage you are working with. You can use it on, you know, just standard looking footage, log footage, or hybrid log gamma. It all works the same, it all gets the job done. Let's get into it. So, starting with our, you know, standard picture profile straight out of camera footage here. We're gonna jump over into our Lumetri curves tab here and on the left here I've got my Lumetri scopes now I'm not keeping too close a look at these because um, with, with this technique we're not you know going for technically perfect grades or anything like that we're going with our eyes we're just wanting to get something out quickly that looks good so before we get started with actually grading let's have a look at how the curve tool actually works. So it, as you can see, it has two axes here, the uh, vertical axis and the horizontal axis. So here along the horizontal axis is your input picture. And along the vertical axis here is your picture that's gonna be outputted after using curves. Now, I know that that sounds super complicated don't worry, basically what that means is you have your um, darkest pixels here going all the way towards your brightest pixels over here and here on your vertical axis you basically decide are they gonna be dark or are they gonna be bright so just to display that is you know, as we can see here, our darkest pixels are coming in. And as we can see here by following where this line here is, they're also going to come out of our curves tool being dark. So if I just take this point and I move that up, if you look at the picture here, you can see that all my dark points oops, are starting to be brighter. So as well, if I take my bright pixels here following... Um, the horizontal axis to where the curve is and I pull that down you can see how the dark bits now are starting to uh, sorry the bright bits of the picture are now starting to get dark instead so let's reset that and let's get started on our grade so if you're working with sort of standard picture profile uh, footage that looks like this it is really quicker um, because when you're starting, when you're working with log or hybrid log gamma, there is one extra step that we have to worry about. But for just standard looking footage like this, all we have to do to start is we put one point in the middle, and we're gonna use that to sort of judge the overall brightness of our shot. So if you want a darker shot, we pull this down a bit, and if you want it brighter, we pull it up a bit. So I want this to be a little bit brighter, so I'm gonna put that here. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our uh, black point here and we're just going to move that up a bit 
and I do this to sort of kill the contrast uh, but also to sort of get rid of those perfectly uh, you know 0% brightness black pixels um, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing with our white pixels so I'm just gonna take my white point and I'm gonna pull that down a little bit so as you can see that's also sort of killed the contrast in our picture a bit so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add one point at 25% and one point at 75% and I'm gonna use these points to just draw an S shape on my curve here and there we go magic is done so as you can see just this straight um, sort of curve that I've done here gives you that faded but still high contrast look that is you know I go to grade but you can also still adjust this if you don't like the faded look just move your black point down um, to where it was but I think for me I just don't like you know my black point to be at perfectly black so I I tend to put it somewhere on here and but other than that I am pretty happy with my grade so if we look at what we have before and now what we have after it's looking a lot better um, now I think I'm gonna leave it at that that's you know the simple quick way to do it uh, what you can do is you're all, you can also go into the individual color curves but I'm gonna do that on the other two clips that I have here so for this clip I'm happy with how it turned out and I'm gonna move on to my next clip so next up here we have our log footage which as you can see is very much less saturated than the sort of standard picture profile footage we were just working on and also as well as you can see out here in the Lumetri scopes it's very much just crushed together in the middle of you know our, our color spectrum so this is where that extra step comes in uh, and what that is is basically you're gonna grab your black point and you're gonna move that to the right until your black level is at a reasonable point so I tend to move it down until the sort of darkest bits of the image are just above zero IRE over here and then I'm gonna do the exact opposite thing with my uh, white point so I'm gonna take my white point and I'm gonna move it to the left and I'm gonna keep moving that until I get my brightest point to be at a decent level now obviously if you don't if if you know you have a picture where nothing is supposed to be perfectly um, bright or perfectly dark you have to use this technique um, accordingly but for this image you know we have points here that we want to be just below white as well as points that we want to be just below black like you know I'm wearing a, a black hat here we got white highlights bouncing from the Sun over here so right moving on we've set our black point we've set a white point now we want to set our midpoint so I'm just gonna follow this line and put a point in the middle of the curve and using this I'm gonna sort of judge where I want my brightness level of this image to be so I still want to brighten it a little bit so I'm gonna move it up to about here then same thing as we did on our first example I'm just gonna take my black point and I'm gonna move it up a bit because I don't want those perfectly black um, sorry those yeah those perfectly black dark levels um, and in just the same way I'm gonna move my white levels down just a little bit like this right obviously this is still not looking very good is it but we still have the last trick which is adding an S curve and all we have to do basically is we have to add a more extreme S curve than we had to on the 
the regular footage. So I'm putting a point here at 25% and I'm just pulling it down a bit. And just the same way I'm going to put a point here at 75% I'm going to pull that up. So now that I've done that I can sort of see that I brightened my picture a little bit too much. I'm going to take my midpoint and I'll move that over uh, sorry move that down a bit and I'm gonna do the same with my white point here move my 25% point over a bit the same here and as you as you can tell this is really a a touch and go sort of type of grade and we're not going for technically correct we're just going for you know visually pleasing here so I'm pretty happy with this right now when it comes to overall tones. Obviously, um, the colors are very much off and we're going to address that soon. But just if we look at what we started with and where we're at now, I'd say that's quite the improvement. I'm going to move this down just ever so slightly again. And I think this is much, much better than what we started with already. And now, obviously, we have to deal with the matter of color in this picture. It's very green, and overall, it's just lacking color. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna introduce a bit of contrast into our colors as well. except for our green curve, which I'm gonna move down the midpoint of. As well as around here. Now again, I'm just going by eye here. There, there's, no, there's no science to what I'm doing. I just wanna get a quick you know, okay looking grade out quickly. Um, obviously this is not a, the technically correct way of working with log, but it is a, you know, a, an example of how you can use curves no matter what type of footage you are dealing with. So if we just look at what we had before and after, you know, there's no way we could ever give this to a client, but in a rush, this is a deliverable grade. Hey, Seb here again. I have to interrupt myself a little bit here as I'm editing this video. I noticed that I forgot one very important step for when you're sort of working with S-Log footage and that is you kind of have to just go in and add a little bit of saturation onto it. Um, as you can see, it makes a world of a difference. So just before adding saturation and after. There we go. That's all I wanted to say. Alright, now back to the video. Now, lastly, let's move on to our last example, which is an HLG clip. And I'm gonna find a frame where I'm looking off to the left of screen a bit, like that. Right. So, again, same, same ordeal as we always do. We're gonna start with moving our black point. And our white point. I'm gonna adjust my brightness to where I like it, which is about here. I'm gonna move my black point up a bit. I'm gonna move my white point down a bit. And then I'm just gonna introduce an S curve by placing one point at 25% and one point at 75%. And there we go, before, after, that's looking pretty good to me. Now, again, obviously, uh, we got a pretty green tint to this picture and that is something very common um, when using a Sony camera, unfortunately. So we're just gonna counter that by adjusting our green color curve here. So I'm gonna take my black point of my green curve and I'm just gonna move that over 
a little bit. I'm also gonna put a midpoint and move that down a little bit. Something like that. And there we go. That's a finished looking grade that I'm happy to deliver. All right, I hope this video was helpful. This is just, as I've said, to show you how you can quickly, uh, within a minute, grade a any footage you've been given to look, you know, pretty much finished in the matter of minutes. Um, you know, I like to say it's the, the sort of 20% that gets you 80% of the results. You know, you, you just get your footage, throw it in, throw this curve on there, you know, adjust your curve by looking and then, you know, you can use other tools to sort of fine tweak small things as needed. But with this technique using curves, it'll get you most of the way, if not all of the way there. Um, please let me know uh, if you have any questions or feedback on anything about this video and uh, yeah. If you want to be one of my first 100 subscribers, I'm gonna, you know, keep putting out a lot of videos uh, on this channel. Feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow.